Well, here we are. You can see my shadow. The sun is behind me. There's the house uh, in the distance. Okay. And of course, the sun is in the wrong place for this video. But uh, here we are. Give you the 360, all the mountains out here. There's my dog who's having a great time chewing on a rock. Uh, she does this. I got six dogs. This is Mandy. She lives in my house in Morthia with me. She had babies. <coughs> and her babies live with my wife's cousins here in Spain. I wouldn't sacrifice them or kill them. And I'm, I'm telling you the truth. She, she shouldn't have had babies. I should have adopted more babies from the dog pound. Uh, but anyway, uh, she's here. The others are running around somewhere. You know, and... Uh, this is a road that I actually jog almost every day for about 45 minutes. Starts right there, and you can see it just goes to that house way at the end over there. That's my neighbor, believe it or not. That is the nearest house to my house. All of this is olive groves, almonds, and grapes. Grapes, of course, for the wine, which I'm not afraid to tell you I kind of enjoy. Uh, and the almonds are for the tarone, the paste. And, of course, the olives are for the virgin extra olive oil. The way you make olive oil is pretty cool. You take the olives, you shake the trees with a machine, and then you uh, basically <coughs> crush them. I mean, literally crush them like, you, you know, you're walking on them almost. And out comes oil. And that is called virgin extra. And then what you do is the next day you crush them again and walk on them. And that's just called virgin and then the next day you do it again, and that's just regular olive oil, lower price, less green, less tasty. And then one more time you do it, and then you get a, an almost transparent olive oil, slightly green, that you could use like to lubricate your pan before you cook meat or fish. But the virgin extra would be strictly for salads. It's, it's like something you eat. And uh, th this is liquid gold here in this part of the world. Believe it or not, the Italians buy... 50% of our production right here and then they put it in bottles and say made in Italy and they sell it in Zabar's and Macy's and places like that in the United States. I have been to a Dean and DeLuca I think it's called in, in Manhattan where a guy was you know when you walk in the door they spray perfume on you sometimes to get you to buy perfume. Well in this place they gave you bread to dip into the olive oil and uh I looked at the bottle and it said made in Italy. And when you look very closely, it says, you know, the olives come from Morthia, Spain. And I was sure that these are mine, you know. Uh, and the, the wine is, uh, is good too. You know, you, you make the wine in a, in a machine nowadays with distillation, fermentation. And at the end, you get a delicious wine. Uh, we have white wine and red wine and, of course, pink wine. The guy who makes the wine is like a, like a guy who's 25 and he just knows how to mix the stuff and get the right bouquet or the right symphony. Here in Spain, we buy wine in bottles, bottles uh, <clears throat> that cost a good wine, $10, is, is considered good. In the States, that same wine is going for like 60, 70 bucks a bottle. And some guy had the great idea, thank him. Uh, to put the wine into like a five liter plastic bag in a box with its own like spout that Americans buy and carry home and the box has a handle and you just put the box in your fridge or something if it's a, if it's a white wine because it's served cold and if it's red you, you serve it at room temp and you just squeeze the spout and out comes the wine and they're selling that stuff for like you know hundreds of dollars genius guy and uh, as far as the almonds go which is the Tyrone we, we eat that here during, you know, the New Year's celebrations. A lot of Tyrone that looks a little bit like peanut butter, okay? And uh, other than that, the, the almonds uh, are sold as almonds. You know, you can fry them and add salt to them. You can, you know, you can make like peanut brittle with them, but it's really almond brittle. Hello, Mandy. Anyway, I'm going to keep walking a little bit now.